so these were the 10 university i decided that i have to apply and out of these 10 i have received admit from nine of them hello i am swati and i am from delhi i completed my btech from bharti vidyapeet college which is in delhi a part of ip university i did my btech from there in information technology and after completing my btech i joined tcs and now i am applying for uh, universities in us for human computer interaction related courses right after my college or i would say when i was even studying in my college i was sure that i need to pursue a masters degree that for sure but i wasn't very clear about which field i need to be in because i was doing engineering but i didn't want to continue uh, in that field as a software developer and tcs uh, was a amazing opportunity for me because in tcs i didn't have to be restricted to just one role or one team i had the opportunity to switch my role switch my team for example like i started as a business analyst then i turned into a back end developer then a front end developer and then i finally decided to go to uh, ux ux design and when i was working in ux design or even preparing for ux design interviews to pitch the team i realized that yes this is a field for me and i need to pursue this academically because it was so interesting that i wanted to know each and every bit of it i wanted to go in depth so that was a real motivation for me firstly i shortlisted my country i saw that mostly major major majorly good universities were in the us and then they were in canada and uk and then in us i shortlisted around 10 universities and those universities were um, georgia tech university of washington university of michigan uh, maryland then there was pat institute uh, purdue then it was uh, rit Indiana University Bloomington Indiana University Purdue University Indiana Polis and then it was Purdue University so these were the 10 university i decided that i have to apply and out of this 10 i have received admit from nine of them and georgia tech being the one that rejected me whenever somebody sees that yes i have got nine admits now their their first response is okay tell me your profile must be very awesome and your profile must be outstanding i tell you my profile is the most average profile you'll find out okay so i'll tell you starting with my scores which i gave i gave my gre and my quant score was good my verbal wasn't good uh, and i scored overall overall uh, 312 That, that that's an average score and for tofil i scored 113 which is uh, i would say tofil is a score that once you have crossed a certain threshold nothing matters like you need to be good in english you need to cross that 100 or 106 mark and everything is fine above that so these are the two scores which i uh, like apply, uh, which i gave recently and coming back to my gpa in college it was 3.3 or i would say it was 7.7 cgpa most of the universities would simply reject me by looking at my gpa but that was in the case i worked on my profile so well i maintained my sop so well that they had to you know move forward and they had to select me for the course so first was like don't self reject yourself and second would be uh, do not forget the power of simplicity the thing which worked for me was that uh my sop was very simple very simple in words very simple in ideas very simple in the uh, the structure too so i i had a clear idea of what i wanted to do now and what i want to do when i arrive there in the college in research or maybe in the industry too i had a very clear picture of it and when when you're like preparing for the process now it's very easy to get demotivated or it's very easy to face that existential crisis like what to do next so it would be very helpful if you can maintain a journal or maybe you can loop in some of your friends or family members so that they can keep a track of what you are doing and help you to be on your track so there are groups whatsapp groups which yoket might help you find one and when you join na there are people who are in the same journey so they'll help you keep keep you motivated throughout the journey so that is also a great tip 
and another tip would be get your recipe reviewed like hundred of times and again if you are getting it reviewed re- get it reviewed by people who are from the same industry because when i was getting my sop reviewed i asked some mba students to review it and they had no idea what hci was and they i respect what they what they were telling me what that was that was something which i felt that this is not at all required and last tip which is very important do not follow advice which is given in the first google link i'm not referring to just one link but yes hundred of hundred of students are following that link like uh the everybody says that your sop should have a story no you do not need to have a story if you are having a very specific story which post and relate to your time in university do mention it but don't write a story just for the sake of it don't write a uh, content just for the sake of it for example people are just writing a uh, course's name professor's name just because somebody has advised them that yes you need to you know include a professor's name in your sop don't do that do everything with a purpose and don't brag about your past it's a statement of purpose it's a statement of intent show your intent show your purpose that what you are going to do there and how you are contributing to the university i want to move to the west coast and if i talk about west coast i have university of washington which is like my best choice and if i go by ranking two it's tank i guess number 1 or number 2 university for my course so i might be selecting that university but again i am keeping university of michigan and maryland as an option to michigan because michigan have provided scholarship to some students and i'm like waiting till may if they provide me a scholarship i might you know go there and i am keeping maryland as an option because things might go wrong and i need to have another option too but to be very honest it's not that other universities were bad or other universities were not up to the mark in fact there are other universities and they are doing amazing work in like amazing research work in different fields they all have their pros and cons but yes for me i think for me these universities would be best suited If you are going to apply for HCI, you know, you will find three type of courses. Firstly, there are courses uh, specific specifically for person who are already into UX field. Okay, and they are like short term and fast paced courses, uh, courses, and they are of like one year. So I didn't want to go there, so I didn't apply there. Secondly, there are courses which are of two years and which are purely of uh, human computer and interaction. so i applied for those courses and thirdly there are courses which are kind of integration between product management and technology and hci for example university of texas austin and university of michigan they are providing masters in information now you can choose these courses and go for ux as a concentration so these are the courses uh, like you can go and you can look up to when you are like um, applying for the courses if i talk about university of washington they have mentioned their i20 amount as 69000 dollars for for the first term for oh, accommodation i saw that there are two options first is on campus and another day, another is like off campus i don't think i would be able to afford the on campus accommodation so i would be going for an off campus and i would be like looking for roommates with with whom i can share the apartment or even the room just to reduce the cost because if if i look at seattle seattle in itself is a very like costly city so i need to like lower my expenditures there see i didn't face much difficulty i would say people generally face difficulty when they get uh, like out of motivation I did face some difficulties for example I need to I had to manage my office and then I had to manage my preparation uh, alongside with it that was a bit of difficult part but I think everything was manageable I I got my GRE scores I got my TOEFL scores on time and and I was just sticking to a timeline helped me um, move over all the obstacles which could be there in the process